Industrial pumps are used for a wide range of applications across many industries. Centrifugal pumps are the most preferred pumping device in the hydraulic world. The impeller is the driving force of the pump. Curved vanes are fitted inside its plates. The impeller stays dipped in water. When the impeller rotates, the water also rotates. The resulting centrifugal force makes the water move radially out. Due to water's displacement, a negative pressure is induced at the eye. This negative pressure helps in sucking fresh water stream into the system. Thus, the process continues. The pump should always be filled with water. If no water is present initially, the negative pressure will be negligibly small to suck fresh stream of water. Impeller is fitted inside a casing so that water moving out will be collected inside it and move in the same direction of rotation of the impeller to the discharge nozzle. The casing holds freshly added water and reduces exit flow velocity. Improper selection of pumps and its poor control mechanism leads to inefficient operations. Before a centrifugal pump is selected, its application must be clearly understood. Energy efficiency of a pumping system relates to selection of correct pump based on application and its control mechanism. The design of an efficient pumping system depends on relationship between fluid flow rate, piping layout, control methodology and pump selection. If pressure in suction side goes below vapor pressure of water, it will make water boil, forming vapor bubbles and spoil impeller material over time. This phenomenon is known as cavitation. More the suction head, lesser should be the pressure. Hence, there's a limit to the maximum suction head a pump can have. Pump curves also indicate pump size and type, operating speed and impeller size in inches. It also shows the pump's best efficiency point, that is BEP. The pump operates most cost-effectively when the operating point is close to the BEP. The blade angles of veins need proper designing, and pump casing should ensure smooth flow of water and properly sealed to arrest leakage. Variable frequency drives, or VFD, are usually the most efficient flow and pressure control options. Major benefits of replacing the conventional pump with energy efficient pump are Replacing a pump with a new efficient one reduces energy use by 2% to 10%. Higher efficiency motors have been shown to increase the efficiency of the pump system 2% to 5%. Proper pump sizing can save 15% to 25% of electricity consumption for pumping. Installation of VFDs in pumps can lead to energy savings by 2 to 5%. EE technologies reduce wear on the equipment, thereby reducing future maintenance costs. Dramatic energy and cost savings can be achieved in pump systems by applying best energy management practices and purchasing energy efficiency equipment. We have saved 5 to 10 percent electricity by using this VFD on the uh, water supply pumps. This is a good technology and we can use it in other industries also. Choosing the right pump often saves both in operating costs and in capital costs of purchasing another pump.